What's up, punks? Jay here, and uh, welcome to the stream tonight. Where, uh, um, well, we were supposed to be doing some more Overcooked, but I don't think people in the mod team were available today tonight. So we'll see. If we can do some Dynamax adventures with the with the chat today. If the chat shows up. All right, just gotta sort out some last minute things. We'll be good. Right, uh, create a dashboard. And uh, as you can see here, we are once again looking for that shiny Rayquaza that has been eluding capture this whole time. Right. All right, let's get started then. Obviously our success will be determining on how many real life people we get bumped up with. And apologies, I usually have this when I'm waiting for the stream to start, but since I'm running late tonight.
I forgot to unmute myself again, didn't I? And what are you three doing? Duraldon's bear has got Dragon Claw. Or is it breaking swipes? Library. Why do I keep forgetting that this game is very loud? I'm gonna make it even louder than myself. Come on, lads, make a move. That's loud, man. I think I'm going to do a lot of damage to this life right Never mind, it's going to be a one turner. <laughs> Problemo salvo. Where are my handy dandy dust balls? There you are. Dust balls feel like they fit for dark types. Keep with um, Harry for now. Hmm. Ooh, that's a tough one. Kangaskhan has dragon type moves. The pseudo Wooda has rock type moves, obviously. I'd say the Kangas can. They'll probably hit harder. There we go. A quick claw makes sense, considering Harreen's uh, speed stat. So I can just can it. I can just can it, lass. <laughs> That's actually pretty good, wasn't it? Uh, that starts off with an expanding force. We don't want to use um, play rough too much, otherwise we'll lose out. Ooh, that hair. 
hard. Hey, who knows what at some point I might even go after Psyguard, especially with ZA being a big thing. It depends on if I get, um, Rayquaza though, because apart from Tapu, um, Le Finny, which I've already found, Rayquaza's been like one of the longest hunts I've done in a while. Especially for the odds that I have for this, um, hunt. The fact that I have the odds of 1 in 100, I'm surprised I haven't got it yet. Yeah, just another expanding force. Come on, mate, pick a move, pick a move. A quick claw. Actually, yeah, I'm surprised I haven't clicked in yet. Got almost there. And of course, you. I got a funny thing that that guy, that card is going through time. Alright, that's the mama bird you caught. Outrage, sorry, not, um, yeah. I'll stick with Harreen, though. I might start the battle with a... Life do, considering everyone's down to low on health. I'm not sure what the next options are gonna be, so... Hello? Is that Darkberry guy? Right. Neither of them will be good. War Turtle and why is that? It's a ch Cherim. I kind of forgot Cherim was in this. Yeah, War Turtle's better. One of the two best starters in Kanto. He's a big boy. Come 
Come on. It's, it's not the same person this time. Double quick clock division. Although in all fairness, this is actually a good time to activate it. That's it. Banda Strack. Do much to it. Zimir is the person on the far left looking a bit like um they're in the uniform of the school in Persona 5. A little bit. Interesting. All right, I'll um, I'll use Life Dune now, because more more than just Garvangela's um, took in some health. I just gotta hope the quick claw activates. Come on, quick claw! Come on! Come on! No. Nope. <laughs> Alright, we're good. Ultra balls. Yeah. We hey, Asher the Martyr, how are we doing today? Thank you for the follow, hope you're doing good. And hey, you commented. <laughs> uh, you'll have to excuse me. Uh, it, even though we have gotten a few followers recently, I'm um, Asher. For some reason, they don't message. <laughs> Maybe it's the thing I did in the settings helped. Oh, you got some good opinions about Galar, do you? I gotta be honest, that's not exactly a happy opinion. That's not exactly a big opinion, but I'm open to new opinions. <laughs> I've, I've liked Galar, considering I'm from the home... I'm considering I'm from the region this... Uh, considering I'm from the country that this region's based on... They got it close. Say that. <laughs> All they need is a few pubs and a few pangoros over the side of the bar, and you're sorted. <laughs> We're going to have a pint round the the lion's roar, mate. Speaking of lion's roar. <laughs> Alrighty, time for the legendary the legendary noodle. But yeah, um, Ash, are you doing alright today? Intriguing, we could one turn this. Maybe. 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 I think mostly it's just gonna. Oh, Dragon Ascent. Big damage. Out. First life. That's nasty pasty. Ah, don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm. Considering I'm from the UK, and obviously this is based on the UK, they got it close. They just needed a few pubs and a few passed out drunk Pangoros or something. <laughs> uh, but yeah, 
the legendary noodle. I've been trying to shiny hunt this thing ever since this game, this uh, sh this um shiny hunting method came out back in 2020, wasn't it? It wasn't out 2019 because that's when the base game came out. And we're three followers away from our goal of 390. Just like, uh, just like the goal we got on YouTube, three subscribers away from 100. Uh, oh well. I'm curious. Super Ultra Combo 2023. Is that was that an event or something? Wow! 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 We don't. We, we don't do that here. We don't do that here. Uh, apparently we do that. <laughs> I think we're sorted because we've... Um, we do max Hailstorm now, but... That was a bit of a jump start. <laughs> Alright, we're good. We're good. Okay, come on, Noodle. Come on, you legendary Noodle. Please... Be the different color that you are. Keep your fingers crossed, lads. I'm on my clean switch doing Masuda, then I'll probably hack Mario Kart later on my up switch. Oh, you, you do that sort of thing. I have to ask, like, how many switches do you go through when it comes to hacking? Because don't Nintendo kind of catch you in the act and all that? Okay. Lipard? No. Kangaskhan? No. Wartortle? No. And please... <sighs> I'm frankly getting sick of that shade of green. Honest to Betsy, I'm getting sick and tired of this. Oh well, back in the tundra we go. And you don't have anything? If Zygarde shows up, I might consider doing that. I've also been trying to give Heatran a Tapu Bulu, but we're not doing that today. We don't do that here. Most cheaters in online games in general would be caught in a day a week, a few weeks a month, and a few months, but I'm not like most. <laughs> You're that one in a million that's like Jason Bourne for hackers or something. Like, I can understand the positives of it, but I can mostly understand the negatives of it, but I'm not the one to judge. I think the closest thing I've got to that sort of thing is trying to use some ROMs for like the 3DS versions of X and Y, mainly because I wanted to try and get away with a X and Y randomizer, but I couldn't figure out how to do it, and I was just worried I was going to screw up my computer or something. Beg me pardon, guys. For the own, at least. Spider AE. E? E? Spider A? <laughs> uh, I'll stop now. I know that was bad. Usually, we'd be playing Overcook with the rest of the mods on the on this channel, but I'm assuming that they were busy today.
No, I'm no Jason Bourne. I went on court four years. Got a game specific ban. When you caught two more years. And now I'm near another year on court. <laughs> so, like, your personal best is four years. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to think about it now. Frankly, I'm not smart enough to even get good at that sort of thing. So, I just don't even try. And frankly, I don't think I need to. <laughs> Bum. Okay, the only major thing I could see that'd be useful here was maybe that bear tick on the far left. Why isn't there a bug and dragon type yet? It's making me want to do some dis drawing and after this. <laughs> because I am stupid. Indeedy. Indeed, very good, sir. Uh, oh, what's the name of that famous uh, English actor? He was in the Italian job and he played Alfred in The Dark Knight. Michael Caine, was it? That's it. I, I just find it funny that maybe that, that'd be what the voice of Vin Didi has. Like, very good, sir. Master Wayne. <laughs> I used near every hack under the sun, near daily, in multiple online games during that time. Wow. I'll, I'll admit, when I'm on the other end of a hacker, like, it's not nice. I think it only ever happened once when I was on Overwatch. But I, I don't think Blizzard's known to be that strict. Then again, I don't know which developers are more tight on hacking than others. Because obviously I don't know what happens. Again, I'll, I'll admit, it's not nice to be in front of a hacker. Because like, there's nothing you can do about it. But honestly though, like the theme and the idea of a hack is cool. Like, that's the main reason why I liked Futaba from Persona 5. Yeah. Um, on my desk here. Let me uh, switch over to... Yeah. I got this on my desk. Like, she, she is my favorite character in the Phantom Thieves, so... Note: Dynamax Pokemon are very loud. Oh, come on, that's pushing it. We started with one computer, didn't we? Blizzard cracks down on PC universally, but on consoles, Diablo gets hacked to total shit. Wow. The leaderboards? Well, it's so like it says 9999999, like on arcade machines or something. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'll admit, Blizzard isn't exactly in the best of terms right now, is it? I'm kind of in the situation where... Like... I follow Overwatch to a bare minimum, and that's it. Like, no one else I know plays it these days. And I'm not saying they're wrong to do so, and they have complete justification for doing so because of how bad it got. Especially now PvE's been permanently scrapped. What was the whole point of it been making the two if you're scrapping the f the f or reason why you're making the sequel in the first place? It's an odd situation, isn't it? So. Ooh, life orb, that'll do. Diablo 3 on consoles for many years had hackers taking Empire the entire top 400 with impossible greater rift times. Are these the sort of people that, um, like on Mario Kart Wii would have like 5 seconds? Or are those the people who just, uh, go in between collision boxes? Just a few power gems and we should be good. Ah uh, look, it's you're worth it. Ooh, Stream Raiders is ready to party. I know a guy who knows a guy who on the one greater rift had a time of zero. But yeah, I wonder what they did to do that. The thing is, I, I've I've oh no one added anything to stream raiders. Alright. Thing is I've never played Diablo, so I don't know what a greater rift is. I'm not sure if I should know with it being blizzard these days. There is one team shooter I've been keeping an eye on that only just got announced. I think it's called Marvel Rivals. Uh, it's got all the classic stuff like the Hulk and Iron Man and all that, but it's like in a Paladin slash Overwatch type of format. It was interesting. Basically, you're supposed to tone beat it as possible as it's a challenge. So, like, regular gameplay, but a time trial. Why does every game think they need to add a time trial to everything? Kinda makes things stale. Ugh. Well, to be fair, since we're fighting Rayquaza, I don't think Alolan Dotria would have been able to help at all. Legit times are never below six or seven minutes. Make me know they'll be adding it to Helldivers. Have people started to hack into Helldivers? Just thought about it then. Like, there's no reason to, especially since like it's a, a PvE-oriented game. Unless it's one of those troll hackers who always shoot the other teammates or something. I do believe that boosts my special attack if I move last, but since Starmie is never last. <sighs> Again, sorry, I don't know why I'm yawning so much. Hmm. The book type looks like a Butterfree, and the psychic is a Zatu. 
I'm saying to go for the Sciences route so Tina there can get rid of her alone duck trio. What's the air? We are going to struggle now because that bear tick is going to go. So gonna struggle now, guys. Well, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. It just depends how lucky we get now, I guess. In Diablo 3, I was at one point third on global leaderboard with a G. Uh, record clear time of 4 minutes 666 seconds. Funny, you talk about Diablo and the, <laughs> the number 666 comes up. Hmm. I don't know what this guy was thinking. This is an actual player. He could have swapped out his dog trio for something else and then the the AI would have um, still had the bear tick. Fair enough. Just as long as you don't pull that stuff in my streams, I think we'll be fine. <laughs> but I can already tell you when. Okay, so we've got rock types, ice type moves, ice rock fairy moves, and I can't remember what the heck the Lone Duck Trio had. So I'm concerned. Especially since it's still frozen. I keep you warning. <laughs> yeah, we don't we don't need that simple beam. Like we don't need that Zatu. Sorry. Well maybe the duck the duck tree up player just is an idiot. And now we're even in a more situation. Whoa. That's true. It's way more fun when the person's unaware so I can toy with them. <laughs> I guess, but it's just down to legitimacy, really. Let's start off with an icy wind, try and slow it down a bit. Surprise. I guess confusion helps. And then here comes Max Rockstar. Uh, Rock Max Rock Ball thing.
There it goes now. Alright, let's try Power Gem since it's been powered up with the Sandstorm. And please, just, can someone get that Duck Trio out of the ice? When did they get a quick roll? Oh boy. On my clean switch, I do shiny hunt and I'm coincidentally also at the Rayquaza. Well, hey, I do have it under playing with viewers, so. If more people show up, I'll do a code thing, like um, the mainstreamers do. But obviously, I can't say if people would do it. But if more people join and want to play with it, play with me on the stream. Oh god. Then yeah, I'll, I'll do like a code system. But I kind of don't. I kind of doubt that that would happen. I am still, what people say, growing, but, I don't know. Oh, for God's sake, this could have been avoided if you just got rid of the stupid Duck Trio. Hmm. Mine's an OG. Like, it's, it's been going strong since I got it. Which was back when Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee came out. Because that was the first real reason I wanted a Switch. Well, yeah. Don't kill the like. Oh god. We might fail this. We either need to survive one more turn or just get a quick hit in. You mean the really early one that was susceptible to glitches? Please don't use extreme speed. Please do not use extreme speed. Close one. Though it didn't help with you flipping the Dog Trio frozen. This, again, this could have been all been avoided if you just traded it off with a bear attack. Oh, right, I forgot to set up Stream Raiders. Hang on, let me get that up. Even though it'll just be my guy. Okay, that's all set. Okay, fingers crossed, lads. In DD, no. Bear tick, I'll have to check. Zatu, no, and oh come on, this is pushing it, isn't it? Uh, all right, I'm all right. All right, let the battle begin. And the battle has ended. <laughs> one. 
Uh, let's put in Mr. T with a hammer. I got caught. I caught you all in a dust ball, and then got an adamant nature, and then I got six IVs. So when my shiny hatch is guaranteed five an adamant. Just as long as you have a uh, oh, what's it called? Just as long as you have an Everstone on the Tutel, because that copies over the nature. And then if you're using a Ditto, that helps the most. Let's go in again. Thing is, if you could hold more than one um, item on the shield, then that'd be better. Yeah, g g that was amazing luck getting a, a tutor with adamant. <sighs> oh, sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Apology. Nature's at 1 in 25. Eh, I didn't think what the odds were that well, but obviously that means you have to catch 25 Tootle to have get a close chance. Um, oof, not really a good selection for me. Maybe Trevor until I can find something better. Like that fly gone. Oh, we got a good roster on the left, far left. Although there is a knife type up on the right. We'll have to analyze the route in a minute. Oh, are you kidding me, mate? There was a fairy type on the left. Never mind, there's a fairy type there. I bred for the nature because I don't like encounter hunting. Yeah, um, one thing that Skull and Violet does better than Sword and Shield encounters. Particularly for shiny hunting, anyway. <laughs> Let's have a reflect since Dracloak's physical. <laughs> oh, yeah, fair enough. Well, that's the thing, Skull and Vite kind of changed it, the whole sandwich mechanic. Like, with that sandwich method, encounter hunting. Sorry. Encounter hunting isn't that bad anymore. Mainly because it's not randomized, is it? Yeah, I do get where you're coming from. Can I kindly ask what that guy is going to do? Special defense, okay. Um, I don't really know what I could do here. I'd like to use Drain Put a uh, Torn Leech, but it's not gonna do much to it. Uh, 
I care about control over stats and I only use nature mints or ball caps if I absolutely have to. Oh, so you're like the you're like the OG breeder. Like so you do things from the scratch. I can respect that. I do say though, the extra mechanics that help make a Pokemon more competitively bred. So helpful. Like I, I, I think it was the main reason why I started to make VGC teams. I do have a, I did like back when Scarlet and Violet first came out. I did have a really nasty combo with um, the Don Dozo duo and uh, Orform. Let's just say it made a lot of people rage quit. I'll take this. I can. Oh, sorry, I, I didn't realize you didn't make. <laughs> I silly. Hmm. Yeah, let's stick with the convo. I smell burnt toast. I'll take a blunder policy because he's got Dragon Rush and you know that sort of thing. I've never seen anyone use the blunder policy to any effect. Maybe if someone's on purpose of using Fisher or um, what's it called? Oh, what's the Ice type version of um, Fisher? Sheer Cold. That's it. I'm in a rough situation now being in front of a fairy type. Very not good. Very not. That's okay. <laughs> mm. This fight is going to take a bit because of being a confe, so I can't just spam Dragon Rush or something. At least I can hit it with Shadow Ball. That won't help, uh, well, that would have helped if I didn't have any health. Sweet, we're done. It was a crit as well. This will go into a luxury ball. Actually, Confei is a Pokemon I haven't really managed to shiny hunt yet. Whether it's in uh, Skull and Violet or in here, I wouldn't, get, wouldn't mind grabbing it. Either way, we've got I've got the Academy Challenge tomorrow, so. Yeah, I shall stay with Dracloak. S someone else needed to go for that because I'm that Catherine had a really good set with him, Evia like Magneton. Uh, yeah, Ice type, but yeah, I was wrong. There's a Glalie here. <sighs> Sorry, again. Seriously, I'm smelling burnt toast. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Let's 
let us uh, willow a bit just in case it has some physical moves. Which I think it does. But I haven't seen Glady's moves there in a while. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry. Dang it, avoid it. Alright. <laughs> That is not good. A crit as well. That helps. Max Rockfall. The uh, ice type buff didn't happen to Scarmba, so that there was no buff of the ice anyway. What they did with the ice type was genius. They like changing it to snow and then giving it like a buff to its, was it, physical defense? Um, I, guys, I am really sorry about the yawning. I don't know why I keep yawning. Oh god, that's okay. Maybe the burn did help. <laughs> They're really having a weather war here. Almost there. We're there. <laughs> oh, I forgot to promote the emotes. One of our mods, uh, Tori, likes to spam the yawning emote, particularly when we're I, well, when I'm yawning. Alright, Glalie. Yeah, that's a good idea, yeah. Alright, we've got a good system here. We've got rock types, ice types, dragon types, and fairy types. Yeah. These are... This is actually a good strategy. And we haven't lost a life. We're getting this, this um, Rayquaza. Now please be shiny. Please. It would have been good for me to Dynamax, I could quickly get ma um I'll, I'll Dynamax next turn. Never mind.
good starting damage. Extreme speed hasn't done much. Smack him in the face. Hailstorm donks him on the head. Lots of damage. We're good. We are good. Cross your fingers, lads. Please, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Dracloak's not shiny. Comfey isn't. Glalie isn't. And fuck me, man. Come on. The amount of effort I've been putting into these Dynamax raids. Still nothing from her. Alright, let's go in again. Uh, looking at the time, I think might be able to get two more in. I'll wait until a minimum of another person has joined. about that. Oh, uh, dang it. Sorry for banging the thing. Ah. Should we wait until 4th or should we just get into it now? There we go. 
<laughs> it's a subble boy. Right. In. I think I'll start off with Scolipede for now, considering it's the main one I like out of these three. Makes sense you'd go for the Drudigan. Really bad Pokemon, I'll admit that. Least favorite Dragon type, at least. <laughs> it's stinky. Okay, that glaring wheezing is a priority. You need to get that. Unfortunately, that means we have to grab a basculin. Us fight to the death whilst I'm waiting for my compatriots to pick their moves. <laughs> yeah, I picked that badly, didn't I? That's a big bug. A very loud bug as well. Must just be strong winds or something. It, was, it has been very windy um, where I live today. Hey Ashi, you're still there. And that's all the attention I want to give Basculin tonight. Unless it's a uh, white stripe Basculin, which yes, I would like one so I can evolve it into Basculegion. Hmm. 
Galarian wheezing, please. Thank you. Very kind. I do believe I can activate the ability Steel Roller now. Nice. Obviously, toxic wouldn't work here, so for a job. This is a bit of a pickle for me, because I don't have that many attacks that's going to do that much damage. Oh, for fuck's sake, why, am I, why do I keep yawning? I'm going to be taking this wheezing if possible. Ooh, streamers isn't anybody. I wonder if someone added something this time.
Uh-oh. Yay. <laughs> Alright, um... Chansey, Halucha, and Perserker. I'd say the Halucha, because then we got some healing afterwards. Oh, that's not a, that's a Comboskin. But, oh, God, how would I prefer to pres a Comboskin over a Perserker? The Ranzel option, yeah, that makes sense. Go on, then. We can take a Grimmsnarl. Grimmsnarl could be helpful here. Although I don't think it has any fairy moves. Yeah, I think this stream is basically just showing everyone in the community that I'm just a massive Pokemon geek. I, I know all the mechanics, I know all the moves. I've got nothing bad to do in my life. One unit, just expected. Okay, some idiot decided to put up for the rain. I didn't know it had a, an electric type move. Uh, there's nothing for me that I can do at the moment, because <clears throat> someone thought it'd be a good idea to put the rain. But uh, again, there's no communication, so either way, it's been solved. Okie dokie.
Now I just spam strange steam until we get a, bl a black legendary noodle. Um, wise glasses, I think I'll do. Do nice to me. I shall do that. is not a good stop. <laughs> How much of a special attack stat does Grimstone have? I'm gonna quickly check. Because that was a lot of damage for what I was expecting. Five special attack, that's not bad. And we're done already. My torment end tonight. Masculine, no. No, oh, there's an ad break, hang on. Worst time ever for an ad break, I'll admit that. been a fan of the dragon type for ages. Please just let their spokesperson be shiny for me today. Please. Please. And yeah, people on YouTube, sorry, we're just waiting for the ad to finish on Twitch. No worries. Okay, now that everyone's back on Twitch, we'll get back on Twitch. Basculin, no. Wheezing, no. 
Berserker, no. And... God... This feels like I've done it more than 100 times. Alright, we've got one more attempt before... Well, yeah, I think we've got one more attempt before we can finish off. And yes, I've already got Tapu Bulu, Einstein. Alright. Last attempt before we finish up. And while we're waiting for that, we'll get Stream Reader sorted out. Let the battle begin. Mr. T, no! Please, people, join this. I need help. Waiting for a third person, and we're good. If we're lucky, we'll get a fourth person. Well, looks like we're not going with two this time. This ain't going anymore. Ooh, toxicity. I like that. Ah, uh, I think. This isn't looking good. Uh, 
Okie dokie. With this being a psychic type, I should do well here. Sure, well done, eh? I hit the water type with a fire type move. Genius. Ooh, very nice. Paralyzed, that's good. That means it's slower. That means my Araquanid could move faster now. Actually, it's already moved, hasn't it? Be grateful I didn't pick a water move, you idiot. <laughs> G-Max Stun Shock. Sweet. Now Starmie's really good to pick here, so depending on what he chooses, I might pick it. Jesus Christ. Alright, let's make this a lucky dip. No arguments there. At least we got it available. Vicavolt, Portigeist, or Palpatode. If I remember correctly, Palpatode has a nice tight move. Or am I getting mistaken for Marsh Stomp? A big boy. Tomato, tomato. Mainly tomato. That will be very useful.
come on, we're almost there. I give him an, I give him an immunity to one of his weaknesses. Of course, the Palpatine Toad hits, hits him with the other weakness. Is shiny tonight. I don't care if it's that Palpa Toad. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll do without. It's weird how much that sounds like an actual phone ringing. I feel like I should take this so I've got more of a chance of getting a fairy, rock, or dragon type. Or ice type. I'll take the Tyrantrum, that is perfect. Hmm. What's that normal type? Dunspars. Let's go for uh, the Drift Blim. Why did that take so long for me to figure out? I'm kind of wondering something about Drift Blim. A helicopter. Interesting special attack stat. Its weakest stat is its defense. I thought Driftblim was supposed to be a bit more bulkier. There's a helicopter outside. I was not making too much background noise for you. Something I kind of want to bring up while I'm here. Obviously, oh, of course I get burnt. Oh, I'm a physical attacker. This is not good. Nothing I can really do about that, is there? As I was saying, um, because Legend of ZA is coming out next year, that does mean the whole year is gonna be kind of iffy when it comes to Pokemon content, because I'll basically be stalling for games I've already played. Like maybe the case of I'm use I'm gonna be doing challenges or something. Like the whole uh, shiny only run in Legends Arceus I'm planning to do after I've found Shiny Quackly. I'm hoping that's going to last for a bit. Although man, I might do it after we've finished the Academy Challenge. Fun. Might even consider getting Infinite Fusion into the rotation. If that's still um, popular. That does remind me, I want to have a check there as well. Ugh. I'm just gonna have to do with, do with it.
Let's get this last one done. Bouncing like Digger. Timber. That's how bad the burn's affecting me right now. The AI in this is stupid. Paralysis, that's good. I wish there was a way I could heal the burn, but there isn't. Typical first turn of that drift limb fight as well. It's going to go, no, 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 you can't have debuffs on me. It's going to knock out the star me at some point on this turn. I don't have that much confidence in us being this thing. This, this uh, particular one. If Tyrantrum wasn't burnt, this would be over by now. It's all because of you. No! <sighs> Star me now. Palpatode, no. It's all your fault, isn't it, Driftblim? <sighs> no shining. Well, that was a waste of two hours, wasn't it? <laughs> God's sake. I, if I wasn't burnt, we would have been fine. But there's a flippin' Driftblim. Ugh, so frustrating. 
Right. Oh well. That'll be it for the stream today, guys. Um, well, obviously, as you saw, we didn't get Rayquaza again. But I will try again next time we do this. Maybe people in the chat will join us if we have enough people. Uh, so yeah, next video or stream, whatever you're looking at, will be the next episode of the Academy Challenge. And that means the endless search to try and find a shiny Totodon. As we said last week, we will look for a Totodile outbreak again. If not, I'll just do a regular sandwich. Um, to a point where like, we'll try and find Totodile again. If there are any more Bruxish, I will kill them. And then if nothing comes out of that, or we find it, we move on to Drillba. And if we're lucky, very lucky, we'll be able to spin the wheel next week, uh, tomorrow. So. Let's just see what happens. But if you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing. We're really, really close to 100 subs. It's not even, it's not even, we're not even kidding at this point. It's just, ugh. I could, I could smell the goal. That's how bad it is. Ugh. Either way, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time. See ya.